Hello, what is up? So, I thought I would look into the VSR, which is Virtual Super Resolution, and show people how to do it. So, a bit of a guide on it. So, what you would do, you would open up Adrenaline, click the settings gear icon it, then go display, and then just click this to enable it. Virtual Super Resolution. And it does work. Very, it's very, uh, again, it is very easy on AMD. Uh, so it's, you literally just tab that. And then you just uh, load up the game. So I'm going to use this game as an example. And I'll get my afterburner up. So the first thing you want to do, go into settings, uh, graphics, and now you've got the. Now you can actually hide your resolution. So all these resolutions above your native monitor resolution are available to use. So I think it's pretty good if you got performance to spare. It's pretty good. So on. What I'll do is I'll load him first to the game. So it gives you the possibility of uh, using a higher resolution. The only thing you do need to be wary of is the VRAM. But, I mean, this game is pretty well managed with VRAM. I find it on the Lost Judgment games, the Yakuza series, to work really well. So I've done it in the past on the 7900 XTX. So what you would do, I've got all that maxed, because I've just installed it again, because I do want to get back into this game. So you could literally, as you see, the frame rate is, that's on the FSR 4 quality. So you definitely got some performance to spare on it. So I could just knock that up to 1620p. And the FPS is still very uh, decent. And it should uh, improve the quality of the image. So, and with FSR 4, it should be doing an even better job. I haven't actually tried it since using FSR 3. The VRAM, as you can see, that there's nothing wrong with that. We've, we've got plenty of uh, room with that. I mean, it's only using four gigabytes allocation of just just over seven. So could knock that up even more could even go to that I mean that's like that's like for just though I think they call it 5k 2k that was a, let's uh, fit on that that will be a lot more demanding than I would have thought hey, it's still getting a decent it's getting 80 FPS. See, another thing you can do, you can actually just go balanced as well. If you do need a bit more performance. That's doing pretty well. Yeah, that seems to have sharpened it up even more. See how that runs. Seems to be doing all right. Again, the VRAM is totally fine with that. No worries with a 16 gigabyte. So definitely, in certain games, you're gonna find this pretty useful if you if the game is pretty. Because there, there are games where hair quality can look a bit rough, so maybe that is an option. And you just want to clean the hair quality up, or you want to clean something else up. Because I one thing on here I've noticed the fences. No matter what, you you could be using Dual SS4 and it will still shimmer slightly with the fences. Let's see how the, they want to get beat up. Yeah, 
have some of that. <laughs> Too slow. Have some of that. So you're getting like between 70 and 80 FPS really. And uh, on this sort of game, you, I'd say, only need about 60 FPS anyway, because it depends if it's a solid 60. You can literally, uh, but that is doing pretty well. That. And because you're at a higher resolution, you could even go balance, even performance, and it would still look better than a uh, safe, a lower resolution with it. So that is working really uh, fine. That no issues whatsoever. So that's pretty good. I mean, you could even try 6K, but I think on this game I would literally uh, play a lot of this. It just clears up the alias in a bit more because I'm a. Oh, this is on my ultra wide 40 p monitor. So I definitely, uh, it gives you that option if you just want to, if there's a certain game where you think the visuals could do with a bit, uh, they're not as clean as they should be. It gives you that option and it does work. I mean, I think on NVIDIA's, you have to go into the NVIDIA control panel and then set the resolution from that and then you've got to come out. And it, it was a bit annoying, but on the, virtual super resolution on here you just activate it in the adrenaline software I mean, and you could got the freedom to just go up and up <laughs> I mean that would be ridiculous probably could try it for a laugh could probably run it if you well it's not even that bad is it that so you could probably go performance on that No, I mean even that's a playable experience there. That's getting a lot smaller because the resolution's going up on my afterburner. I did, I did try on the uh, XX with Lost Judgment. I think I went about 6K, and it did look pretty good. Got to admit. I mean, that does look really clean there. Anyway, so that's that's the basics of it. So pretty much once you enable it, it literally uh, gives you the option to go as far as you want with it. So yeah, I might do a few more videos on it in, in, in some other games just to see how it looks. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.